Can I ask you, Steve, look, why criminal? Why criminal law? Like, what was that? Because there's so many laws to choose from these days. <laughs> what attracted you to this this business? Boy, that's uh, uh, that's a, another very good question. It sounds like I'm trying to sell you life insurance because I keep complimenting <laughs> on your questions, but no, you're you're. They, it, it, you're that's why you're, they keep me you're, around. You're setting me up <laughs> to like to say something something important or interesting. Um, well, you know. Um, when I went to law school, uh, like a lot of people, I imagine, I, I, I felt like what I saw on TV and movies about, you know, about lawyering was like some reflection of reality, and it's not. Um, it's all w way over dramatized, and, um, you know, like watch, if you watch Perry Mason, you know, Della Street, his secretary is a genius, and he has one case at a time, and, and he always wins. Yeah, um, it'd be great to be Perry Mason, but you know the reality of the law business is it's just a tough business. And I found out after I got into it that if you're in private practice, that the majority of people who ever hire a lawyer are probably hiring a lawyer because they're getting divorced or they've had a, a, a child out of wedlock and have you know parent time, similar cut parent time, child support type issues, uh, or else they're filing bankruptcy. And uh, uh, that, that's probably at least two-thirds of the people who are hiring a lawyer one time in their life, I think, are, are doing it for that reason. Uh, you know, criminal defense, um, it, it's a little bit difficult to uh, fill your, your pipe or fill your dance card, so to speak, with uh, criminal defense type cases. Uh, but, you know, I, I, think that, uh, I think that they're interesting. Um, and uh, you know, there's an opportunity to, I think, to help people who are worthy of a little help. Uh, I mean, I do do it for profit, I'll admit that. But I think a lot of people have the misconception that what I'm doing is partnering with hardened criminals and helping them deceive the court. Uh, I would characterize it, it's more like uh, I'm the pastor of their parish and I'm helping them come to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I would characterize it. In other words, uh, in other words, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they just have a really bad day where they are under a lot of pressure and uh, made some they, choices. they made some poor choices. They exercised some poor judgment and now they got to fix it. And so I do that. But I, I suppose to answer your question, you know, why that over other things, I, I do many things, you know, as a solo practitioner or as a member of a very small firm. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I just, I, I just enjoy, I guess the stories. It's interesting to, to see the stories and see what happens. And, uh, uh, I, honestly, it's one of the less stressful things I do. I do, uh, other things, other areas of practice. I've done many divorces. I've done a lot of probate, uh, litigation. I've done a lot of contract litigation. You know, sometimes criminal law is very stressful when you're involved in, in uh, narratives of just, you know, heinous and deplorable events. It can be, uh, but, but uh, usually it's not usually, uh, you know, what I'm doing is I'm helping people, you know, fix a problem they have so life can go on.